Hi everyone, welcome to Scadia 120. This is a video where we cover a whole topic in just 120 seconds. So today we'll be covering Chittagagasi syndrome. Now it is a rare autosomal recessive inherited immunodeficiency disorder. It may also be termed as a leukocyte anomaly albinism or defect in natural killer lymphocytes. Now, the responsible gene is lysosomal trafficking regulator gene, or otherwise known as LYST or Chidekhagasi syndrome gene 1 or CHS1. Now, it has been mapped to chromosome 1. And LIST, as the name suggests, affects the traffic patterns or movement of proteins into lysosomes. Now, this leads to the formation of giant intracellular granules in all granules containing cells, including melanocytes, neutrophils, and others which can be observed under the microscope. Now, this can be attributed to microtubular dysfunction in these cells. We will also observe defective chemotaxis and impairment of natural killer cells. Now, pancytopenia and a reduction in antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity can also be observed. Symptoms are usually observed during early infancy. Now you can easily memorize the symptoms by our super easy mnemonic PANICS, which stands for photophobia, albinism, neurological symptoms, recurrent infections, coagulation defects, and silver tinted hair. Cholinergic agents are therapeutically effective because they promote microtubular repair by increasing the intracellular levels of cyclic GMP. Now, prophylactic antibiotics may also be used to prevent infections. A bone marrow transplant actually is a last resort and used to treat the immune and bleeding abnormalities and prevents the development of accelerated phase. The accelerated phase of Chidikagasi involves profound lymphohistocytic organ infiltration that further worsens immunodeficiency. So that was all for today. Keep watching scuddy.com for more videos like this.